Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how I make this very cute and easy Frankenstein cake. So I've already baked my cake, so I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of buttercream on the board to stop the cake from moving around. I made a lemon poppy seed cake, which I dyed green just to make it look more like Frankenstein. So I'm just putting in a thin layer of buttercream, which I also dyed green. Then I'm going to put the top of the cake on and apply a thin crumb coat. And when I'm all done with my crumb coat, I'm just going to put the cake in the fridge for about 10 minutes just so it can firm up before we put our final layer of icing on. I'm not covering the whole cake in fondant, so I'm going to try to ice it as smoothly as I can. Now I'm going to put the cake back in the fridge for about 15 minutes to let it firm up again. And using a paper towel, I'm going to place it on top and use my hand to smooth out the top a little bit so it isn't so rough. Time to roll out some black fondant and this is going to be for Frankenstein's hair so I just roll it out and I want it a little bit bigger than the pan I used which is a 6 inch and using my exacto knife I just make little squigglies around for his hair. Now I'm going to put the hair on top and I'm just going to gently push it into the sides of the cake. Taking a little bit of black fondant I'm going to roll it out into a snake and then cut one big piece in three little pieces. This is going to be for the little stitches on his face and I'm just going to apply it using a little bit of water. Using fondant the same color as Frankenstein I'm going to roll out a snake like shape for his eyebrows. With the same colored fondant I'm also going to roll out just a little ball for his nose. some white fondant for the eyes and then using a piping tip I'm going to cut out some circles and for the pupils I'm just using some black fondant and then I'm also going to add a little white ball of fondant just to kind of finish off the look now you can add the eyes and I just put a little bit of water on the back of them to help them stick Frankenstein is almost done now we're just gonna add the bolts that are on the sides of his neck so I'm just rolling out some gray fondant and I'm just going to play with it until it resembles a bolt. To add these to the cake, I am just going to stick a toothpick inside them and then push them into the sides of the cake. So there you go guys, there is a very easy and cute Frankenstein cake. Thanks for watching, bye!